Hello. Welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Whitney and I do 20 a minute makeup looks. Mostly. I try to keep them fun and colorful, but sometimes I do neutrals. I try to make sure everything is wearable. Because that's the most important thing for me is that I can, excuse me, be fun and colorful, but also, you know, be able to go out in public. <laughs> Not that I do do that very often, but on those rare occasions. Anyways, today we're going to do a pink eye. Not a diseased one, just pink eye shadow. <laughs> to go with my pink shirt. We might throw some purple in to catch some of the other colors in my necklace. I've got this. It's from Kohl's. I think this was, I think this was from Kohl's. I think it's part of the Simply Bear Wing. It's several years old. And then I've got these little earrings that kind of match. Close enough. Also from Kohl's. Definitely Vera Wang. Just got these off of their clearance rack a couple of, like a month ago maybe, a month and a half. I like them. They match close enough. Alright, so I've prepped my lids with my Morphe Filterific Concealer. I am also using a Morphe palette today. This is the 15S Social Butterfly palette. This was one, oh, hello, multiple Whitney's. Uh, Ooh, there we go. This is a palette that I got at I Am At's Atlanta the first year they had it, which was like five years ago. Obviously, I don't use it a ton, um, but it does have some really great colors in it. I love the pinks, this little shimmery purple here. There's some really good colors in here. So we're going to use this today. And I'm going to start with using hashtag add here in the middle just to do a little bit of transition here for my don't want to get too much here I do have moisturizer on with an SPF as always you've got to protect your skin and since it's actually decent weather out now and I can spend time outside I want to make sure that I have SPF on my face all the time okay Spend some extra time blending on this here. If you followed me for very long, you know I don't spend a ton of time blending. Okay. Every color in this palette starts hashtag. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, I'm going to find myself a flat brush. This had some pink on it from the other day, so I'm going to use it again. And I'm just going to take hashtag besties, this neon pink here, over my whole lid. Now, I love Morphe eyeshadow. I think the pigmentation is amazing. I find them to be very blendable. They stick to my lids really well. I don't get a lot of fallout. And they typically last all day for me. Having said that, Colors like hot pink of theirs <laughs> tend to stain my lids, even when I put that base on. So I s anticipate that I will have some nice pink eyelids after I take my makeup off tonight. But that's okay. I forgive you, Morphe, because it's worth it. All right, all right. Trying to just pull that down to my inner corner, get down to my lash line. so pink okay I am gonna use it's kind of maroony color hashtag makeover um, I'm gonna save my brown brush for other neutral looks that I plan on doing just so I always have one I'm gonna get this moda crease brush do a couple taps into that Here in that outer corner. And blend, 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 blend. Oh, this is such a great brush. 
kind of disappointed that I don't really need any more brushes right now because I know that Moda will do a great sell for Black Friday and their pre-Christmas stuff. And I usually stock up, but I bought a whole bunch of brushes a couple months ago. And I don't need any more. It makes me sad. Alright, coming back in with a little bit more of Makeover. Okay. Oof, let's work on this other side. I am participating in a couple of panel interviews today for a potential new person on our team at work. So I'll be spending a lot of time on Zoom. I also have a couple other meetings coming up. So I need last all day makeup. Okay, I'm gonna come in with Influencer now. It's this purple color. I'm gonna go just in this outer corner. Sorry, I just don't have a lot to say. This is a lot of just sitting and doing. All right, I think I am good with that. I'm gonna take hashtag bay, it's a shimmery pink. I'm just going to go on ahead and use my brush instead of my finger and put that on over this pink. I'm going to test this one and this one. Oh, I think I'm going to go with this one, which was Fame Game. Just coming here to that center part of my eye. Oh yeah. Picked up a little bit more of Bay, which was the pink shimmer, and just blend that a little bit with the purple. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that has turned out. I wish I had a wet wipe to wipe my fingers off with, but that's okay. All right, we're going to do liquid liner today. Feeling brave. This is the Sex Kitten from Tarte. If it still has any juice, it does. Just 
pressing the felt tip right into my lash line. And then I'm gonna attempt to get that inner corner. Okay. One down. I should always do this other one first. Thick. Okay. That's not perfect, but better than no eyeliner. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just continuing to push that into my lash line. I'm calling that a day. I'll probably go in a tight line with one of the Pat McGrath Permagels. Give that a second to dry. All right, we are using our Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Black Drama Mascara. Nice fluffy curvy brush. Get my hair out of my face. This clip is doing almost nothing. Clip number two. Okay. Let's do a little wiggle and pull. Which sides? I'm not sure why I'm bothering with bottom lash mascara. Literally no one is going to see it. But hey, I guess if you're going to do a look, you may as well do it right. <clears throat> okay. Foundation time. I've got my Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. Right? Yeah. Um, I don't know why this brush looks like it's got blush on it, but we're using it for foundation today. Not using a lot of product, but I am going all over my face today. Just a change from what I've done in the past, which is just really to be a focus on that under eye area. big load of sunscreen I put on. I was pretty shiny, so I want to do as much mattifying as I can. I like to control my shimmer and shine. All right. Let me do brows first. Handsome. 
I've reached the end of a pencil. Hooray, I guess. Now I gotta go buy a new one. This should get me through the, through the day, maybe through the week, I don't know. Let's see if I can find some time to run to CVS. I've got a few extra care rewards bucks on my account I can use to buy a new one. And hey, if they've got any good deals, maybe I can earn some more dollars. So one thing I like about CVS, their prices are a little bit higher than like a Walmart or something like that. But they do rewards, so I may spend 20, 30 cents more on a piece of product, but I might get four or five dollars back that I can re-spend on more products or medicine for my family if we have a prescription or whatever it is that I need from CVS. So not sponsored in any way, but if you have the if you go to CVS often and you don't have their care card, you should get one because you can get some pretty good deals. Okay, we got two brows now. Oh, yeah, we're pretty much done. I may have to use eyeliner or eyeshadow the rest of the week for that. All right, let's powder this face. Or not, because my powder's not here, so I guess we'll use this old Rimmel powder again. I think I know where my powder is. It's in the kitchen. This is just a translucent stay matte powder from Rimmel that I've had for a very, very, very long time. Probably just need to toss it, but it is great to have on my desk for emergencies. Okay, done. I'm gonna go under my eyes just a little bit. First, I'm gonna start with Makeover and then I'm gonna add the Influencer. Sorry, I'm looking in my mirror rather than the camera because I can see this better in the mirror. Okay. Oops. Ouch, take this down. All right, obviously I'm not gonna walk around looking this pale. We're gonna get some blush out here. I think we're going This is the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Love at First Blush. Blush. Okay. I think I'm going to do an inner corner highlight today because I'm just feeling that very specific one I want, which is also from Pat McGrath, also from their Bridgerton collection. Uh, this is the Diamond of the First Water palette. Oh, it's so pretty, but I want to use, whoops, this here. So I'm just finding a little pointy pencil brush. Got a little bit of that. Thanks, Pat McGrath. That was exactly what this look needed. All right, I'm gonna dust that out and put it over here in the used pile. Shove this back up here. Oh, we're at 20 minutes, but we need lips, so we're running just a little bit over. Um, we're gonna do a neutral lip today. I got too much pink going on. So I'm just gonna grab this Skin Flicks from Pat McGrath. A little bit of a shimmery nude.
and voila, all done for today. So hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, great. If you didn't, maybe next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.